Good morning. It is bright and early and I am just getting ready to leave for work. But before I do, let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video, AG1. So about six or seven weeks ago, I told you guys that I started trying something out and I would let you know what I thought and this is it. So I've been seeing AG1 and hearing about it for a long time. I've never had a chance to try it until now. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about it already, but if you haven't, it is a nutrient-packed supplement that contains 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. It comes in a powder that you mix one scoop. I think it's supposed to be a level scoop, but I always use a big old scoop because I'm a big guy, and you mix it in the supplied shaker cup with eight to 10 ounces of water. You give it a shake, and then you drink it down. The first time I mixed it up, because it's a green liquid, I was a little concerned about what it would taste like, but I was surprised when I drank it. It actually tastes really good, and I even have grown to enjoy it every morning. So I have been taking AG1 every morning right before I take out the garbage with Annie and right before I head to the gym. It's made a noticeable difference in the gym, getting me through those early morning work clothes workouts. And then again, in the afternoon when normally you would experience those afternoon crashes, a definite boost in energy is what I experience most. And in one study, 97% of participants experience the same thing. AG1 has so many more benefits, including it supports your immune system and it supports gut health. Other common benefits are healthier skin and improved concentration, and the list goes on and on. You can check it out yourself or place your first order by scanning the QR code you see on the screen or clicking the link down in the description. There's a 90-day money-back guarantee. You really don't have anything to lose. And right now, they are offering a year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 and five free travel packs. Thanks again, AG1, for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get to work. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite. And the guys are already here, nice and early, working on the wall. Morning, Carlito. Morning. Are you going to finish this today? Maybe. Caps? Caps. Going to try to put the lights. Everything's on the porch. Thank you. All the lights. Beautiful. So he's going to install lights under the caps, shining down onto the wall. I might have mentioned that already, but I think I got 14 lights. No, 16 lights. So these guys are gonna continue working here today and I'm going to pick up Daryl Jr. this morning. It's been a little while, he's been texting me. So we're gonna hang out today. My mom is coming at 11.30 for Best Mom Friday. We're all gonna meet up here and we'll eat together here. Uh, Big Ray, myself and Ryan Jr. We're gonna go to the new yard. We're gonna continue getting all the equipment ready, uh, getting supplies, just keep organizing start putting the trucks back where they belong, all that kind of stuff. We are just a couple days now away from getting started on the two, 2024 concrete season. So I'm gonna go get this little work clothes workout in and then I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. All right, workout was good, felt strong. I'll tell you a funny story. So this morning, my boots here were by the front door. I wore like exceptionally puffy wool socks this morning. I put my boots on and I was like, man, these things feel tight. These socks are even puffier than I remember. So I was at the gym and Junior calls me. He's like, hey dad, what kind of boots do you have on right now? I was like, my work boots. He's like, those are my work boots. <laughs> so I took Ryan's, they're only a size 11. Mine are size 13. So that was funny. He wants his boots back. Eggs and olives, olives and eggs. 
Oh no! Oh, Man, bad timing. What? That's Who? just hot water. Who did that? Oh, they made a they they made coffee with no beans in there. Yeah. Oh man. Someone put the filter in and put it back. And oh, okay. That's all right. We'll go with the dark coffee today. <laughs> you drink coffee? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. I go like that, about an inch from the top, and then a little bit of the mudslide brownie gives it just a hint of flavor. It tastes really good. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great Thank day. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> it's funny, man. People just walk by me and they're like, big fella. Man, you're big. I'm like, I'm not that big. I guess I'm pretty big. I haven't been losing weight at all recently. I've been, I don't know. It doesn't feel like I've been eating that much or overeating, but I'm not losing weight. It definitely gets harder as you get older. I have to switch it up. When I say I have to switch it up or I need to switch it up is because we're trying to renew life insurance on me because we had term life, 20 year term life and the term is up. So the guy said that I need to weigh less than 275. Otherwise it's gonna cost a fortune. So I definitely have some work to do before I can get a policy. So hopefully I don't croak in the next couple months. All right, just pulling up. Junior's here. There he is. Look how happy he is. He's so happy. Big Ray and Daryl Jr., the two happiest guys I know. Morning. Morning. So what you been up to? Oh, uh, not a whole lot. Just hanging out. Yeah. So the the birds are chirping. Birds are happy. Yeah. Springtime. It's pretty cold out though. It is. About to open up Concord. Yeah, I gotta stop at Concord. See if they have a filter for my power buggy. Do you have the oil filter to spin on for that? Yeah. You do? I mean, you need uh just one. Alright, he did have the oil filter, the spin-on oil filter, so I'm gonna change the oil on the power buggy today. Just pull it into the yard. Ryan's going up on the trailer with the skid loader. Dude, Ryan's and not Big Ray. Big Ray standing on the trailer. Oh. oh. I think he's putting the forks on the trailer. Oh, they're trying to get them lined up so they fit in the pockets. <laughs> they're getting that all loaded up. Come and see, Junior. Oh, it definitely will. Come and see. It's actually not a bad day today. Sun's out. Oh, no way! Pipe rack. What do you think? That looks good. So now I don't have to go to Home Depot every other morning. Right. I can build something right here too. That way they don't... Just uh, have a hook. That's, yeah. what the, that's what the holes are for. I gotta get a little chain. Oh, alright. Oh, man. What do you think of that? That looks really good. Yep. I put it on the other side too, or just one side? Yeah, this is going to be half inch. Fine. I got another bundle of this coming, so this will be full. And then I got a half inch, and then I got fiberglass rebar here. Yep. There's a lot of trip too. Yeah, I'm going to save a lot of trips, that's for sure. Morning. Morning. Yeah. You want your boots? Yeah, I like my boots. <laughs> These are not great. Big Ray! Morning. <laughs> His boots hurt. I heard you snore like a dick freak. Man, <laughs> you got anybody out there. Oh, he saw the video. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's funny. Still... <laughs> yeah. I have big wool you socks. Like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> You're fighting the way you. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, that's funny. But they were a little tight. All right, give me my stretched out boots now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All this plywood, I'm going to have them go to. Home Depot and replace it. We also need a new gate, plywood gate, in the back because we lost it. Can I know how you built this? Yeah. Doing do something like this, only taller, rather than lumber. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking to do. Yeah. I just don't have a lot of time left. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is what happened to my daughter. Cool. 
All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, I'm so happy, Big Ray. It's Friday. Mom is coming. Grandma's coming. That's good. And that was the auditor, and she said, "I'm clear." That's awesome. Oh man. That's awesome. The man. auditor said, "I'm good." The audit's over. They didn't find nothing. Oh, nothing. <laughs> I thought you were mad at the camera. Man, I'm so happy. That's good. I'm telling you, man, that's really like in the back of your mind, it's stressful. It's one of those things where, taxes, right? where you can never relax. That's honestly why I'm trying to hire a business manager because I really need to get all that stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah. I do what I need to do, you know, but that's why I need to hire me. Oh, oh <laughs> man. Can you imagine how fast I would go to prison? Yeah, yeah. right, <laughs> right to away. And I'm like, Daryl, you didn't pay the taxes? He's like, no, man, no, no, we, I, I saved you a bunch part. of money. No, <laughs> Oh, so what would you do? I'm managing the other part of the business. The spending side. <laughs> yeah. 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 All the yeah. yeah. <laughs> Investing. Oh, what are you no, talking about? Tax, tax deductions. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he would be in charge of. Because all your buckets, I think, are at the shop. Yeah, we got to go to the shop. So So I can pick it up and I think make sure we have fucking binders on there. We got to make sure we got all of our buckets, like the proper buckets. Yeah, they're all, I think they're both at the shop. Yeah, leave that one here. Oh, Let's make a plan. Hang on. Yeah, make a plan, Ryan. I Thank do. you, Daryl. I just yeah. said that. I do have a good plan. <laughs> yeah. So, Big Ray, you could take that. You know, just take that down. Big Ray can go get the other machine. We got to get plywood for that trailer, too. Yeah. We got to exchange that plywood. Okay. Trying to get Ryan to make another purchase here, but I know he's scared. He's trying to get me to buy a $90,000 roll-off truck. He wants me to... 2006 Peterbilt 357 quad oh axle. Oh my goodness, he's got the point. He wants... <laughs> He wants me to buy it. I like your style. He wants me to buy it and start a roll-off company too. Well, add it to the even money rental. <laughs> oh, it's, that's nothing. Peterbilt even. sounds good. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Getting one of those Peterbilt. That's a good idea. I mean, renting out dumpsters is easy. <sighs> Daryl, I have a lot of stuff going on. All right, let's hit it. That trailer is ready. This truck is ready. The Mac is ready. That trailer is ready, except for the fuel filter on the fuel cell. Uh, the tandem axle is just about ready. It's running. We're almost ready. Do you know where all the binders went off the tongue of that trailer? Oh, there's tons of binders in the tongue of that trailer. I think they're all in there. <sighs> Not going to prison. Good. Man. I mean, I don't mind taking over for you. You would take over for me? Yeah. You'd have to come to the prison and we'd have to talk on the phone through the glass. Yeah. And then I would t give you instructions and stuff. <laughs> you don't yeah, even... I'm running my way. Oh, you'd run it your way? Yeah. So you would just let me ride in prison? <laughs> well, what else are you going to do? <laughs> Man, right, right in my heart. I'll come visit you. Thank you. I'll tell you how good the business is doing. Oh, yeah. How much money we're making. Or losing. <laughs> okay, I'm just pulling up to the house because I need that hitch right there. I just hope it works. It's not too low with my pickup truck. That's not going to work at all. I don't feel like pulling this whole hitch apart and moving it up and just to pull the trailer for one trip. The CEO is here. He probably wants to show me how he knows how to run it. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Good. Feeling better? Yes. All right. About time. Hi, Joanna. Hi. Are you helping, Daniel? He <laughs> just came like here. He's learning how to use the, the machine. That's what I heard. Today he used it again. Really? Yeah, yeah. he's getting there. You know how to use it, Daniel? Yeah. Okay. Hey! hey! He picked up this guy. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, oh my God. Man, how you doing, brother? <laughs> how you doing? You know what, man? Good. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, not too bad. See what you know. <laughs> okay. 
Good work. Daryl said what? To buy him one. To buy him one of those? Yeah. No, sir. Uh, at least you tried. <laughs> Just take a little nap. I'm going to get some oil. <laughs> Oh, man. You haven't been sleeping much lately when you come with me. I don't know what's going on. It's all a cheese, man. All right. I'm just real quick going to grab some oil. Unexpected items in bagging area. Remove this item before continuing. Unexpected item in bagging area. Remove this item before continuing. Unexpected item in bagging area. Remove this item before continuing. I am not a fan of the self-checkout. Okay, just pulling up to the winter shop. I stopped by the machine shop. I dropped off the plates. They should have the prototype ready next week. The end of next week. Uh, all ready? Ready. Okay. So you're going to leave this one at the yard? Didn't you have a new one? Yeah, I have a newer tooth bucket than that. Yeah, I think it's the buckets of, might be at the... We need to find it. At the old yard. Yeah, find Ooh. a newer bucket. I think I would eventually them. want all this over there anyway. Yeah, go check over there. Okay. Okay. This is not the right filter. Well, this thing is super short. It's like half the size. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change the oil without the filter. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll have to spin a filter on later. Hold this up like this. Over here? Yeah. All right, I'm going to drain the oil. Get some new oil in it. See how much of a mess we're going to make with this oil now. Yep. I knew I was going to make a mess. I just knew it. It's good. That's it. Everything good? Yeah. All right. Looking good. It's ready then. All right, let's go, Junior. I'm gonna have those guys use the little dump truck. I think Tino and Carlito can live without it. I'll have them come and get this thing and get the plywood. What happened here? Nope. Nope. It all flew off his truck. Oh man. The whole thing flew out of his truck. That's a weather guard pack rat. Man. Came right out the back. At least it wasn't on the freeway though. Right. Just pulling up to the house and Grandma's here. That's right, grandma's here. The other guys should be on their way. Hi Grace. Hi. What you doing with the scissors? I don't really think that's a good idea. What's she doing? I don't think that's... Why don't you give Daddy the scissors? Oh, scissors! Because you could fall down and it could get you. It could get you. Here, Daddy will get you something else. This is a vice grip so you can poke stuff. How's it going, Daniel? Are you detailing your snowblower? Yes. Okay. Where did you get this? Where's this from? Inside? No, inside. You're right. That is amazing. That yeah, looks good. Come on this side. Come on this Big side. Big Ray, we can't, we gotta take it easy here. No. We can't eat the whole pan <laughs> ourselves. You should have seen him go, you know, he actually ran. Okay, you can oh, you're actually gonna eat some of my mom's food? Yeah. All right, well, finally. So you guys, there's an announcement to make. 
Daryl join Daryl Jr. is rejoining the team. <laughs> no. Here's your hiring paperwork. All right. All right. He's going to be a senior consultant, <laughs> part time. Beautiful. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> senior part time consultant and supervisor. <laughs> oh, what is Daniel going to do then? Daniel's a CEO, man. That's oh, that's, that's right. yeah, way right. up that's above everybody. Way. Above. way. Thank you, Carlito. Where? You want Grace to eat the razor blades? Right man! I don't know. Come on, man! <laughs> man, Daniel's really going to town. He takes good care of his equipment. Yeah. Ready for next year? Yeah, exactly. So, Mom, I have another announcement, too. Yes. The state called me back, the lady, the auditor. Yes. And she said, I have a court date for June 22nd. So, I don't know, but they said to get my uh, affairs in order, whatever that means. <laughs> no, just kidding. She said I'm clear. Yay! <laughs> you didn't even hear the good news yet. Oh yeah, you didn't hear the news. I rehired Junior. What's he gonna do? About time. No, he's a senior consultant oh. and yeah. a supervisor. And my boss. <laughs> Can you? What Please don't interrupt Daniel right now. He's very busy. You see that? There's no batteries in there, right, Daniel? Yes, there's no batteries in here. Because otherwise they could turn on and chop your arms off. <laughs> so you never, ever, ever work on it with batteries in it. I was about to go with more ham. Yeah, I was going to go crazy. <laughs> I was going to go I was gonna go Joey was... Peanut on this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What's the peanut thing all about? So Joey Chestnut is the number one competitive yeah, eater in the world. I know who he is. Mm -hmm. So we just making fun of him. We're calling Joey Peanut, trying to get his attention. See if we can make him it. mad enough to respond to us. <laughs> and finally, one day, his wife will be like, "You got to do something about this," and then he'll be like, "That's it." <laughs> and then he's gonna call me and be like, "It's on." We could put like a five-gallon bucket underneath the beard, yeah. and then oh, put the you. beard over it. And then he can pretend like he just keeps eating and eating and eating. <laughs> Will they grow any longer? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Um, one of you guys have to drive the little dump truck. What do you all you need on the job here? Yeah, Nothing? We need, we need more cats. Who's driving what? He's going to drive the truck. I'm going to drive my, my truck. Okay. He's driving the small dump truck. My little truck. <coughs> my brown. Somebody's got to drive that. Somebody's got to drive that. You guys can't be together anymore. You're going to be doing separate things. So yeah. figure out what you, you want to do. Francisco. Bring the caps here and then drop the truck off at the yard. Yeah. Well, why don't we don't take the me. truck? I don't know. What to, I don't know. Oh. What to, I can get the caps in. You go do the attachments. It don't matter to me. Well, why don't we just take the small dump truck? Oh, stop it, Daryl. No, to we're not taking a little dump truck. I'm just trying to help stop me. it, <laughs> man. You know what? Give me, give me those pipe papers back. I changed my mind. You're driving me crazy already on the first day. You fire on your first day. Please drive me crazy already, man. I gotta get some pegboard. I want to hang that pegboard. Okay, we're pulling up the county material. Ray's coming here to get the rest of the caps for Carlito and Tino, but I need sample blocks for a customer. We're gonna be doing a real nice. Uh, seat wall with a couple pillars with a stamp patio coming up. So unfortunately County is closed It's good Friday today So anyways, that means they're not gonna finish the wall today because we can't get the rest of the caps uh, So I'm gonna be working for a couple days a week now So now. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm excited um, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, then we just had lunch from my mom. Um, she made this really good ham. So juicy and everything. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. Okay, they did let Ray in to get the caps. Ray pulled in right behind me and the guy's like, come on, come on. So he got the caps for Carlito, thankfully. But we're here. I want to try to grab some pegboard and hang that in the little concrete shed. Finish organizing that thing. You know where you would have pegboard? 
What is that? Pegboard. Pegboard? Pegboard, you know what that is? Not at all. That's all they got. Hmm. Is that really all they have? I'm gonna go check in another spot. Right. Back by the cabinets, it's in the far back corner. Are you coming? Um, I think out here, so you gotta come back this way. Okay. Man, I hate that cheap pegboard. You know it's just gonna bust. They have the stronger pegboard here. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's way better. Junior! So I, I was over there, the, they, they had reversible little chalkboard and whiteboard thing. So what I'm thinking is if you want that, put the white, have the whiteboard facing out, then you can make like a calendar. A calendar yeah. at the yard? It's probably not actually a bad idea. Most of your ideas are and but that's actually a pretty good one. Yeah. Here, make yourself very useful. Right. I think we should get four. Cause what we need room for expansion. Oh no. Yeah. Little baskets. Oh no. Yeah. That go on the pegboard. Yeah. So you could put pens or something in there. Yeah. Ho oh, ho, now we're thinking. <laughs> this is good enough to get us started, right? Yeah, that should be. Alright, let's go get these mounted. Alright. I'll get a chalkboard from like uh, the office supply store. Right. A nicer one. Don't Put on the victory account. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a victory account. Oh, you should. I know. It's, 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 it's stuck together. I'm trying to get it. You should have it, man. Having a day, your tooth and all. <laughs> it's like, and it's not even everybody. It's, it's the, it's your nails? Are they new? You're not used to them? Oh, okay. Once you get used to them, it'll be easy. Oh, you got them for your birthday? Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. No problem. Have a nice day. All right. She had long nails. <laughs> that would be hard, though, to like do just about anything. Picking your nose would be really easy though. <laughs> yeah. Man, you could get way deep in there. Oh! What the hell did you have back here? Brand new breaker? Brand new breaker. Man, what about the old one? This is a little one for the MT. Oh, for the MT. Yep. Okay, we're back at the yard. I'm gonna get this stuff hung up. I forgot to get chained for that. I was just at Home Depot. That's all right. Careful. That should be good, right? Yeah. Or put all four right here. Um. That looks pretty good. All right, Junior, peel those stickers off, and then right. we can hang these up. We can hang these up first. Oh, this red chalk's going in the garbage. Don't like red chalk, man. I don't want to see it. No black chalk, no red chalk. We could put our blades there. I think I hear Ray pulling in. Yep, big Ray's here. It's pretty good timing, we're almost done, and then we can get the mesh trailer all figured out. We'll dump all that plywood. Look at that. Look at Oh man. We're like Home Depot now. Right? You're gonna have to organize better, man. You can't just be all random. And look at that, it's not even in the middle. <laughs> Come on, man. There mm -hmm. you go. You gotta organize better, because you got a lot of stuff. Look at all this. Let me just just pull over way. there and put the plywood in the garbage can. Well, it's not going to, I don't think it's all going to fit. If you got to put some behind the dumpster, go ahead. Okay. So I want to get that all off. We got to go get some new. Yeah, we'll do that. I got my sign here, my victory sign. I never hung it up after I took it down from the fence and they didn't want it out there. So I'm going to put it in here somewhere, but where? 
see if I can find some screws and some washers and a ladder. We'll see what we can do to hang this right now. Pull your shirt down in the back. Oh. The booty's hanging out. <laughs> Ryan's here. <laughs> This truck's pretty much ready to roll. Just gotta do the fuel filter and that's it. Everything's ready, ready. Here we go. That looks good. Looking good. That's nice. Oh yeah. Man, that's beautiful. Yeah? That's good. Good I thinking. I know. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the storage, Home Depot itself. <laughs> also, your Ford, uh, the 350, yeah. the one that we washed, tires are low. Okay. A little pressure, need to put that up too. Well, it's not too big of a deal. Player in there. Thank you. Yeah? I need to put a quicker player in there. Yeah. I was hoping we don't waste that much time at Quick Trip anymore this year. <sighs> Oh, Alright, let's go to Home Depot and get the plywood now. How many did you throw away? I don't know. Oh. Maybe like 20? No, too clusty, man. Yeah, you threw them all away. 15, 10, I don't know. Probably. It was more than 10. Probably like 13 then. That's a weird number. Why don't you get a dozen? Okay. Oh, <laughs> you said 13. <laughs> no, we're not getting 13, big right? Can you imagine the first pour if we got 13, what would happen? Man. We gotta hang these up too. Man, this year is gonna be good. We're gonna be so organized. Hey, you know what I think you did for here? What? You know how you had the folding chairs about the winter shop? Got a couple for here. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh no, I don't want that on there. Yeah, no, I was I brought it from the other yard. Oh yeah, no, that's a good idea. Drop it over over there. Yeah, just throw it over there because we always put the whacker here. Yeah, I know. I I just put it. All right, that looks good. Everything's coming together. Super happy. It's a good day today. It's gonna be a crazy year. Hey, Mo. When we start digging all this, man, they're gonna have the big excavators, bulldozers, 12 trunks lined up going in and out. <laughs> That's gonna be good. We bought them all yesterday. <laughs> wow, that top one is really bad. You said 75% off. How much? 75% off. The one of them? For two. Two are 75% off? Yeah, because they're bad. All right, well, we can. You want it? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. 70% off of the bad one on the bottom. Okay. For one. These are fine right there. Man, this one, look how crooked it is, though. Yeah, but if you're, you're going to lay it down, you're going to run over it. It's not a problem. Well, either way, I'm not waiting for a forklift to come and get one of those from the top. I don't have an hour. Hey, we're, we're good. Good? Yeah, don't worry about it. Man, why take you so long? Man, where's Ray? I thought he was with you. Hey Ryan, I just wanted to say hey, how's it going? And uh, nice to meet you. Well, I saw your you. truck outside. I had to run back in here. Oh, yeah. I was looking for you. So I, I really like your videos. Oh, thank you. Like what do you do? I'm a carpenter. Yeah? Yep, kitchen's a mess. Are you in training? Oh. I am. Trying not to yeah, right. right. I've been seeing you here forever. Oh, okay. <laughs> You've been seeing me forever. You mean I'm an old guy. <laughs> so am I. So I'm old too. Home Depot card? No? No, not today. He's more basic. Yeah. 
<laughs> Have a good day, sir. Thank you so much. I still don't see Big Ray. <laughs> oh. He must have went in the bathroom. Oh. But where did he go? I have no idea. Man. Come on, Daryl. It's me and you. Oh, oh, man. oh man, nothing. <laughs> Big Ray disappeared to the bathroom or something. I don't know where he is. Ouch. Ooh. Look at that. Ouch. Man, I'm gonna need a band-aid. <laughs> I know I'd be careful, Ted. I don't think you know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to work tomorrow, boss. I'll have to tell Daniel. No work tomorrow. Where have you been? <laughs> you know what I wouldn't mind doing is Cutting. Welding a support from there to here. You can see how the mesh kind of sags. Oh, that's good. You know, if it would hold it up like that, it would be, that, be yeah. easier to get the plywood out. I'll put that on my list of stuff to do. Oh, oh, you too. Me. You too. None of us can work next week. <laughs> I'm going to have to email what? Daniel. I got lead poison. Except that's Ew. not lead. I so don't try it. Don't than, try that one on Daniel. This, this is worse than, than the bee sting. <laughs> You're gonna drive with him? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. How's it going? You going to pour some concrete or what? Nah, it's for my house. Oh, you need some help? I'm a finisher. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything? Good. good. How are you? Good, good. All right, see you later. Yeah. Good to see you, dude. <laughs> so that guy works for me for one season and then he got a job with as you heard, the county of Milwaukee, which apparently is easy money. So I'm gonna take one of those pieces of plywood, cut it and make the gate. And then we're gonna go to the winter shop. And since we're already there, I'm gonna have them back in the shop and I'll, I'll weld the brace in between to hold the back of the mesh up because it's hard to get the plywood in and out because as you can see, the mesh kind of sags in the middle. So it kind of like pokes your hands and it's, it's a pain. Hello. Hey, Ryan. Yep. You have uh, drill bits? Drill bits for what? What are you drilling? Are you drilling concrete, wood, what size? Hello? Hello? Carlito? Ryan. Yeah, what happened? You disappeared for like a minute. Oh, the Bluetooth. Uh, <laughs> language barrier. They come with a little plastic thing, you put it inside and then the uh, screw. A drill bit or a drill? The whole thing, you got that. Uh, I'll be there in like 20 minutes. <sighs> All right, man. I'm, I'm setting up the uh, lights. Okay. that back inside of the truck side box with the rest of the cordless tool you got to take my truck uh, I'm gonna give you something take it to Carlito okay okay and then you got to run and get the checks you ready junior yes sir we're gonna go get the buggy now all right looking good all right all right it's good for now there's yeah. still more stuff to hang up but we got to go all right. all right going up to the winter shop I think we'll load up the buggy first. Oh man, too hard. Nope. 
That's the one. Ah. Yep, got it. I'm gonna weld the support on. Oh, for those. Yes, I'm gonna back it in. I got everything here, I might as well. I got that extra piece of tube steel just sitting there waiting to be welded. 78 and a half. Do you have the checks? Yeah, I'm passing by a carito and I'm just giving them give them the checks. Yeah. Alright, one more time to go. Yep. Fixed it. Alright. That's good. Okay. Oh yeah, much better. Look. Yeah. Much, much better. Oh, that's so much better. Look how much room we have now. Right. To put the plywood in and not stab our hands anymore. That's good, man. That's nice. It's stuck. It's stuck because you put it in crooked. Oh. There you go. Okay, thank you. All right, we gotta go. All right, this truck's ready. Ready, ready, ready. It's never been so ready. How's it going? So I put one here in each. One light? Yeah, light, light. Okay. Are you gonna need more for the bottom course? No, I mean, this is a small. I can order more. Well, I don't know, whatever you need. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm asking you. What about it? you don't like it? Well, let me see. I'm sure I like it. Be careful, don't, don't go all the way to the end. I mean, one here. Yeah. I don't know about over there. You know, it's not like because it's step down. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way around five feet. Oh. Well, I don't know. If you don't have enough, we'll get more. Oh yeah. You might need one or two more. Yeah, it's looking good. <laughs> It'll look awesome when it's lit up at night with the flowers. All right, we gotta go, Daniel. Did you ever do this when you were a kid, Junior? Yeah. Oh, yeah? All the time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it is fun. <laughs> you can go like this and like fly like a plane. Yeah. It's so fun, man. You can still have fun when you're growing too. Right. Who cares what other people think? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're just heading back to park this thing. We're gonna grab my pickup, drop off some sample blocks to a customer, and then I'm gonna take Mr. Junior home. Man, that guy has a lot of pallets. Wow. Is that for the Brenham all? That's a lot of pallets. Right. Okay, we just gotta jump in my truck. Go drop off some blocks. We did run a few errands too today that I didn't show. It's been a pretty busy day. It might not have seemed like it to you because we ended up running to a few other places, but man, I've been running around all day. A couple more places to run, but uh, we're almost there. Almost there. All right, we just dropped off the blocks. Now I'm taking Mr. Junior home. Yep. It's uh, 10 to 5 right now. Long day for you. Oh, yeah, very long day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Junior. Mm -hmm. I'll see you on Monday. On oh, Monday? Fine. Oh, actually, probably Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, we took Tuesday the Yeah, Tuesday we're going to have a meeting with all the guys. All right, all the time. Uh, probably I'll pick you up at 8.30 or so. 8.30? Yep. All right, see you later. All right. Bye. Adios. Okay, I dropped Junior off, and this is my final stop of the day. Northern Tool and Equipment. It's a really cool store. They got a bunch of stuff that guys would like. A lot of tools. Pressure washers. I came here because they sell transfer tanks, and I'm pretty sure they'll have the filter. I haven't been here for a while, but they used to have the transfer tanks right over here. Looks like they do. That's it right there. That's it. This is very similar to like a Harbor Freight kind of feel, but they sell higher end tools, basically. They have brand name here too. I need a new turbo tip. Ours is gone. Man, 130 bucks. Oh, this is so expensive. Okay, I just pulled up at the house and it looks like Carlito, he's got all the wires hooked up. He's got the lights on. Oh man, it's gonna look so cool. I'm not gonna end the video yet. I'm gonna come back out here after dark. All right, we're all gonna walk outside and look at the lights on the wall. Are you coming? Look at that, Daniel. Wow. What do you think? That's fancy. Good. There you go. That's oh, what it looks that like at night. Nice. That's super cool. And there's going to be stuff right here. Plants. Wow. Yep. There's the wall at night. Wow. That looks really cool. All right. Looks pretty cool. I know you guys can't see me, but see you on the next one. Adios. Adios. Adios.